All right, everybody, welcome to the Game Vault. As always, I am Captain Beefy here today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had some sound issues. I was trying to film already, and the sound just started getting so choppy and awful. I don't know if it was a game thing or what, but we're going to start with a brand new game. We only got a few minutes into it. I died. <laughs> I don't see a way around dying again, so I didn't do this just to get out of dying. I have a feeling I'm going to die a lot. All right, so let's give our guy a name here. We're going to choose a samurai, which I hear is a good um, starting class. And we're going to choose the golden seed as our keepsake, because that's an important thing that's supposed to give us a little bit more of a uh, a little bit more on the potions, I believe. So we'll be able to heal a little bit more. There we go. We need to alter the face and hair. We definitely need a beard. I rock a beard, and I will not be going around without a beard. That's solid. It's about the length of my hair and beard. done and we put all that crap on so you can't see it anyway right <laughs> all right let's let the intro run this guy gets super excited to talk Now, ye tarnished, ye dead, who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Horalu, chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant. Gold mask. 
Fear, the deathbed companion. The loathsome dung eater. And Sir Gideon Othnir. The all-knowing. again bless a tarnished of no renown cross the fog to the lands between to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. I didn't lie, did I? He gets excited. All right, so here's my character. And there's some dude just running around there. This is a multiplayer game. <clears throat> In some regards, from what I understand. It's just not a, uh, you're not constantly online like you are in something, well, well, you are, but you're not interacting with everybody like you are in like a Grand Theft Auto or Fallout 76 type thing. Players leave messages around, that's those uh, things you see on the ground. Uh, here's one here. You can interact with them and read them. Left, see. And then you can give them applause. That's pretty weird. Movement is your standard movement in these games. Left, uh... Oh, there we go. Oh, he's got fire arrows too. Alright. So I guess a bow is my primary weapon with this guy. Left stick to run, right stick to turn. L2 aims the bow, R2 fires it. Of course, we are playing on the PlayStation 5 here. Here's where the sound began to get funky in the last uh, video, but this time around, it seems okay. And we're about to meet our first boss, who soundly defeated me and probably will do so again. Yikes. Yeah, that hurt. What the hell? Ow. Okay. Well, he killed me a little quicker this time. <laughs> I don't know how to cycle through weapons or anything yet. This is... I kind of wanted to melee him, but... It is what it is. So, here we are just a few minutes into the game. And I'm already dead. I guess Elden Ring means many deaths in Latin or something. I don't know. This looks like a scripted death, though. Leave it to FromSoft to throw a boss at you right in the beginning of the game. I've never played any of the Souls games or anything like that, so... This is all new to me. Well, that's cool looking. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on his side. We found him here, after all. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Hmm, okay. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. 
Elden Rings, Golden Orders. My goodness, what have I gotten myself into? Probably a 200 episode uh, walkthrough. <laughs> All right, we haven't had the opportunity to do a lot yet. Next thing we expect to do is a basic tutorial, which most open world games will follow the opening cutscenes that kind of lay lay out what's going on in the world and give you a little exposition and all that. Now, a mistake a lot of new players will make is they'll go right for that door. Cool. Which we don't want to do. We want to go down here. This is a tutorial. So these are Sites of Grace, Rest of Them to restore HP, FP, and cleanse any status ailments that will fill my sacred flasks. Most of the enemies defeated will be revived. Okay. So I can touch it. And I can rest at it. So, flasks. My spell sort chest leave. Oh, there's where I use my golden seed. Okay. All right, well, that's that. So L1 lets me zoom in. Okay. Now I have a sword. That was by pushing left on my directional pad. the kat katana there. Looks like R1 and R2 are the two attacks. L1 is guard. Okay. Man, I got a little tiny shield there. Huh? Oh, he hit me anyway. Okay. So the circle is a dodge. When you use the uh, left stick with it, it dodges you. And circle on its own is just a back step. Cool, got it. Makes this jump, but that's kind of. Common knowledge in games. Oh, roasted. Nice. All right. So we got to switch to our other weapon there. video games got me looking at colors like that you know you get used to seeing that out in the uh, in games if there's like a brighter color that's something you want to interact with so switch right handed armament switch left hand armament triangle L1 R1 wheels with both hands
He's so mean. Ow. Jerk. Now what are we gonna learn? R while locked on target. We'll change target. Okay. So pushing in the right stick locks onto a target and moving the right stick um, a lot of interactive stuff in this environment I'm not seeing any goodies in it okay L1 for precise aiming R to adjust your aim R1 and R2. Oh, okay, so a regular arrow is R1 and R2. Uses my fire arrow. Look at that. That was nice. Quick little headshot. You can tell I've used a bow in video games before. Armaments have special abilities called skills. They're highly varied. Using skills consumes FP. L2 is a skill. Crouch to make it harder. L3 is a crouch and a stand down. All right. Oh! Well, that left a mark. Alright, so I guess hitting from behind causes significantly more damage. Like a backstabbing bonus, or however you want to look at it. Hold R2, charge attack, R2 while jumping, jump attack. Alright, not quite what I intended, but it got the job done at least. Okay. Interesting enough, and here's the wall of... F oh, that's gross looking. All right, let's traverse the mist. Oh, great. We have a boss fight. You can tell by the big red health bar at the bottom. And I'm dead already. Yeah, I wasn't really prepared for that. Oh, game, how you mock me. All right, let's go right back to that statue since it was right out there. I guess I should have took that as a warning, duly noted. I'll have to remember that next time. You will drop any runes. If you die again, they'll be lost forever. Yikes. So I guess they're runes. There they are right there. How do I use my... Oh, there we go. Triangle. No, square. Oh, crap.
and I'm dead again. I barely heard him that time. Last time I heard him a little bit. At least I think I did. All right, well, let's go back to that steak of Marika. And uh, this might be a very short series. This might end in, uh, you know, like another 45 seconds. Oh, I'm kidding. We won't give up that quickly. Okay, so I got the shield and I got the sword. I want to let me, there we go. All right, so let's go get our stuff. He does a one, two, three hit. There we go. And I'm dead again, but I almost got him that time. All right. <laughs> All right, I got him. Uh, ooh, boy, this is taking a little getting used to. He is brutal. Way to go on the very second boss you face, the first one they actually fight. Being a complete jerk. Yeah, dude. He kicks my ass. <laughs> All right, well, that was exciting. What did these blood stains do? Oh, it shows you. Oh, okay. So, okay, got a little health back. And what do we got over here? If it's glowing, you touch it. New strength. Strength times one, okay. So, yeah, this takes us back to where we started from. We never looked at this guy. Who is he? Oh. He literally tells you to go down there if you talk to him. So, yeah, the natural thing in open world games is to follow the light, right? Even in the darkest areas, there's usually some kind of light to indicate where you're supposed to go. So, and here we go, another little gray spot. So this should fill my stuff, I believe, right? Let's wait till morning. Give us a nice long rest. And yep, there it is. The flask of crimson tears is back. Cool. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this very first episode of Elden Ring. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault, and I'd like to thank you for joining me on this uh, crazy death-filled adventure. 
If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notifications. That way you get to keep up with this game, see what all the hoopla is about, and check out some of the other great content I am going to be turning out. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff I've put out already. It was very low quality, so this is my first walkthrough series at this new 2K quality, and I'm very excited to see what you guys think about it. So please leave a comment down below and a like on the video if you enjoy what you see, and I'll see you the next time.